Okay, hello everybody. Okay, this is for you guys who are uploading your images from your iPhone, your iPad or other camera equipment and it's going straight into the new Apple Photos app which I find really irritating because it restricts you it's difficult to use it with third-party video editing software and photo manipulation software um, you can't drag and drop things in it's difficult to find for instance you'd expect that you should be able to and as you see here here we have the photos open should be able to click on an image right click and say find in finder of course it's no longer there and you need to be doing something completely different and manually manipulating your folder in order to even get the option uh, to come up there so I just uh, I want to abandon that together and just work this whole system to one that I know will work for me so this is what I do I basically first of all I know I want to work on a particular project today I've shot a whole load of sequence of video clips that you can see here so the first thing to do is to make yourself a folder which is your working folder so in this particular case it says it's Hong Kong as you see there and I've got a few images already in there so we come back to uh, photos and we highlight the one that we want to import uh, this particular one I'm going to double click on there just to check that it's actually the one I want have a quick look and as you can see there little street scene of Hong Kong central Hong Kong okay so I know that's the one I want so I just go back now to my open window if I want to pick up several and do a whole batch then simply I just you know press the shift key and I can select the ones I want uh, in this case just to make it quick I don't I'm just going to pick up that one there so the first thing I do is I go up to file I go to export and I export unmodified original this brings up a dialog box it gives you the option here to export this IPTC as an XMP I don't use that because I don't need that extra information and when you do that it gives you a double file uh, on this side not just the movie file but an extra file with information in it I personally don't need that maybe you do if so you click the box I use an input I also don't mess around with either of these options here I just keep it really clean and simple I just click export then it opens the finder window of where to if you've not already used it you need to go and find the file that you want so in this case I'll go down and find it it's in my YouTube file and there's my Hong Kong file just here double click on there and there are the eight videos that are already here so I just simply say export the original and as you can see over here it started to already do that and it'll take a couple of seconds bingo it's done so if I then click on there I can see my new image is in place and from here I can really easily you know drag and drop into any third-party software I want I can pick it up really easy I know where everything is in one place it's not in this system that they use of dating it I really dislike the way that they uh, sort and search things I want things in an order that I want to place them so this for me works really really well and if I'm working on a, a video project or putting together a photo book or doing anything I want it's I know where everything is it's easy to find I'm not searching around trying to wonder where have they put that in the system so I hope you enjoyed that it's short and simple uh, if you enjoyed it please uh, like the video uh, share it with anybody you want hope you enjoyed it and have a good day everybody thanks very much